Good morning. Welcome back to Question and Research. And our Black History moment today is William H. Hasty. He was also he was a lawyer and a judge, and he was appointed by two United States presidents, Franklin D. Roosevelt and Harry S. Truman. He was born in 1904, and he passed away in 1976. He's also a member of the Kappa uh, fraternity, one of part of the Divine Divine Nine. And he was the first in his class to graduate Amherst College with an A.B. degree in 1925. He was also a, the staff of the New Jersey Border Town Manual Training School in 1927. And he also received a, a degree at, at Harvard in 1931. It was the LLB degree. And so he was admitted to the District of Columbia Bar. Now, he was an advisor to Franklin D. Roosevelt, and this was regarding race, race relations. He accepted uh, a position as solicitor of the Department of Interior in 1937. FDR, Franklin D. Roosevelt, appointed Hasty to the Federal District Court to the Virgin Islands. So he was the first black man to, do, to, be, the, um, to be of a federal level, to be appointed to this position. After two years serving there for the Virgin Islands, he also went to Howard. He was the uh, the dean of law for the law school, and that that was only okay. Let me go to my notes. And also in 1941 and 1943, he was a civilian aide to the Secretary of War, and his name his name was Henry. Stimson, he resigned from the position because he was into race relations. So he was protesting racial relations and racial policies and um, abolishing poll tax. In May of 1946, he was inaugurated as, the, as an African-American governor to the Virgin Islands. Again, he went back. And he was also nominated judge of the third u.s circuit court of appeals by uh by harry s truman i'm also noticing like a trend with harry with harry s truman and franklin d roosevelt they had their hands in like race relations very early on in the 1900s and i feel like that's something i should look into to me hastings was very accomplished because it just, even though he was in a time where it was a lot of racial tension, not to say that it has all been erased in 2020, it just seems like there were opportunities laid at his feet. Plus, he was building relationships. He was networking, even if he probably wasn't trying to network, but he knew it was important to be in front of certain people's faces because there are in charge of policy change, writing the law. Again, the pen is mightier than the sword. So he knew what he had to do to do to help black people, help people in general, civil rights, human rights in general. And it's, it's nice to see that there were at least two presidents or even just one president or even a politician that wasn't black that saw why certain things were important. We are people. We just can't just live by the wayside and and that's it. We just go with the flow. No, we need amenities. We need things to help us along just like any other person or any any other person that's walking this earth. So he he had, I'm not saying he never had any challenges. I'm not saying he never had any disappointments, but it just seemed like everything was hitting. He was getting he was being appointed. He was be, he, he was appointed to judge twice, one by FDR and one by Harry S. Truman. He also was the dean of law at Howard University, a, a black a HBCU. So um, he was doing doing all of that, and then he protested by quitting one position because he was he was concerned about racial relations. And so today, William H. Hasty is our Black History moment for today. And another note, I need to start looking into Harry S. Truman and FDR, Franklin D. Roosevelt, what they were really standing for in regards to racial relations regarding black people and the state of black people in the United States of America. Thank you. Make sure you click the um, 
the bell notification. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, question and research. It's all one word, no symbols or anything. And I look forward for tomorrow for our next Black History Moment. This, this is the last seven days of this month. So I'm here until the 29th. So you have a wonderful day. Bye.